Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to torture my lips and I'm going to try on a bunch of the new Power Matte Lip Pigments from NARS. I believe I have like 10 or 11 here. So obviously I don't have all of them. There are 18 in the collection. And then I also have a ton of their new lip pencils. Now I'm not gonna swatch all the lip pencils on my lips because I need my lips to still be here by the end of this video, but I'm gonna put all of the colors that I have here on my lips from the liquid lipsticks. Now, these are brand new. They're super cute. All the names are songs, which I don't think I ever would have even really noticed unless I had heard somebody talk about it. I don't pick up on the details. Somebody told me about the uh, Marc Jacobs, the names of them making like a sentence or whatever, and I was like, that's adorable. I didn't even look. I didn't even notice. The one I have on right this second is called Get It On. Now these retail for $26. They just got to Nordstrom. That's what I was waiting for. And I'm sure you guys saw in one of my haul videos, my birthday haul, because Kelsey was supposed to go get Walk This Way, and she came back with a lip liner. I don't even know how she did that, but I now have Walk This Way in this collection, so you'll see that. But according to the website, it says it's an innovative, weightless, matte liquid lip pigment with ultra flexible, lasting wear. It's one swipe coverage and it's smudge resistant. So I'm going to pop these on and then I'm going to let you guys know what I think about them at the end. Now again, I have to get it on on right now. So I'm going to take this one off and we'll go in with another color. Now we're going to go in with walk this way. And you guys, I do have a cold, so bear with me and my voice. I can't help it. <laughs> um, but I wanted to get this up for you guys. So this is walk this way. This is what the one like I gravitated towards initially. I want to show you guys the applicator on this. That's so tiny. Like, it comes to like a little point. And this is very like almost ink like when you're putting it on. It's super, super thin. All right, so here's Walk This Way. I like this color. Oh, you notice this? Yeah, I got this palette. <laughs> It'll be up next. Um, but um, I don't know, I like the first color better. This one's a little bit more pink. And maybe it's the eye that's throwing me off. I do like the color, it's not necessarily one that I would pick to wear all the time because me and pink don't always get along, but it's a beautiful color. It's just not one that I would gravitate towards. I like the peachy nudes, but this is Walk This Way. It's kind of funny that the one I gravitated towards is uh, like, I didn't like it as much as the first one. That shows you how off the lighting is in Sephora. Like, I like a color just like the Makeup Forever blush and then you go out of there because it's so dark. It makes the colors look different. Next, I'm gonna try American Woman. Now, I would have realized this one was a song because it's gonna be stuck in my head for American Woman. Yeah, like it's gonna be in my head. <laughs> so let's try this one. Okay, love this color. Love this color. This is kind of what I thought Walk This Way was going to be. I should probably tr stop trying to talk and putting this on at the same time. Alright, here we've got American Woman. I really like this shade. It's almost like a, like it has a little bit of a pinkish purple. Not really purple. I don't know, it's a little bit darker. It's not as light of a pink and I really like this color. I feel like it always looks different on camera. So... I'm going to swatch all of these like I do the liners on my daughter in natural lighting so you guys can see that kind of uh, light too. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. You're supposed to shake these before each application. I haven't even been doing that, so let me do that. And this color is Save the Queen. And yes, this is a little bit more purple, like that purple nude. Nude as in, it's still dark, but you know, it's still like a wearable color. So I take that back. This is not a nude at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, first impressions. Um, but it's still very wearable in my personal opinion. For whatever reason, I get like MAC up the amp and heroin vibes, but like way toned down. Like the wearable version of those, if that makes sense at all. And this one is called London Calling. Ooh, this is pretty. It is real pretty, especially, ooh, for fall. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it dry down faster. <laughs> um, but this shade, I am living for it. This is my favorite so far. It's like a smoky purple, and oh my god, with my hair, 
obsessed with it. I just love it. And you guys, these do dry down. They take a little bit longer. I don't know why I thought whenever I swatched them as a four that they didn't dry down. I guess because it does take a little bit longer, but they are way more comfortable than like the traditional just straight up like boom, it's matte. And that's probably why because it takes a little bit longer, but they're so thin. I'm really liking these so far, but this is my favorite color so far. I want to see how many times I can say that. My lips are starting to feel like my nose does because my nose is raw from blowing it. Ugh. Lip swatch videos are like the one time that I wish I had lip fillers. <laughs> I got a little outside the line with this one. I feel like if, um, if I had my lips done, it would be easier. It just looks like it's easier if you have nice, full, even lips. But anyway, this is definitely like a Barbie pink. It's cute. I would probably never wear it, but it's cute. Here we have Warm Leatherette. I feel like it's showing more pink on camera than it is in person. Slightly more of that purple tone to it, like fuchsia. But it's really pretty. I've always gravitated toward these kind of colors for like the bold shades. But yeah, it's showing more purple fuchsia than it is on camera. Now I'm gonna put on Light My Fire. This one is like a cherry red with like a slight orange to it, slight. So if you want to have that tint to it without it being like overwhelming, I love me an orange lipstick, don't get me wrong, like that's like my favorite, but if it's too much for you, this might be an option. This is gorgeous. This is, this is probably my second favorite, but I love orangey reds. It's almost kind of coral. I don't know, I don't think I have anything really like this. It's like different, but it's not. The next two shades are so similar. I don't know if you can even tell the difference. I've got like wet wipe. <laughs> um, they're so similar. I don't know if you can really tell the difference on camera. So what I'm going to do is put one on the top and one on the bottom so that maybe you guys can see the difference a little bit better. So I'm going to put Star Woman on the bottom. That is like a blood red. That's gorgeous. This is the new look, you guys. Super cute, right? <laughs> So there's Star Woman, and this is Don't Stop. Let me put this on top. There's not a huge difference between them. This one is slightly deeper. This one's slightly brighter, which it isn't really bright, but you guys know what I mean. Star Woman is slightly deeper, and then Don't Stop is a little bit more... It's brighter, more red. I don't know, there's not a huge difference. I don't think someone's gonna walk up and, and be like, you got two different lipsticks on. I wonder if you guys can see it on camera, but this one is slightly deeper. And now we're gonna put on the last one, and the last shade is Rock With You. So this is the last one that I have, and I put this one on last on purpose because I knew this color was gonna be hard to put on. You use something this dark and it's just, you gotta take your time with this one. I would use a lip liner, not necessarily that you need it, but if you're trying to make it perfect, it's real hard. But this color, it went on very nicely. It's like a black cherry. It's gorgeous. I will say my two favorite of the entire ones that I've got were London Calling and then Light My Fire. So those are my two favorites of all of them. But you guys let me know what you think. I give these two thumbs up. I think these are really, really well done. I like the applicator. I like how thin the formula is. I like how pigmented they are. I didn't really have any issues with any of them. But you guys let me know what you think. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys a picture of the swatches of all these liners. And I'm going to go ahead and just name them. But again, Again, they will be down below listed with the number. So here we go. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> I got halfway through naming these off and I was like, no, you guys are going to let me have it in the comments. I don't know how to say these. I'm not going to attempt to say these. I'm just going to do what I said I was going to do and I'm just going to write the numbers and then the names and they will all be there for you. And again, these swatches are in natural lighting. Any pictures that I insert either during, in the middle or whatever, they're all in natural lighting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I give them two thumbs up. I like the lip liners as well. Um, let me know if you'd like to get your hands on any of these. Like I said, they are in Nordstrom now and my info is down below. I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go put a lip mask on and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!